what's up everybody welcome back to channel code x i'm your host afzal and in today's video i'm going to show you how to create your own custom widget so that you can use inside your page and pass the data back and forth in the last video we have seen how to use animation controller and some tween animation to animate the container size and make it look like the growing and shrinking bubble so today we are going to use the same animation but instead of triggering on init we will use a custom event from the page button click well our requirement is very clear we just have to bring this controller dot forward from init state to some custom event some custom function right so what we have to do is create a controller using which some third party or like a button can invoke a method inside of this widget so let's go ahead and create a controller of course you can create inside another file but it's very simple controller i'm going to keep it in the same animation file so i'll name it mpin animation controller so i'm going to define a function okay and i'll call it animate and this animate is something which someone else can trigger like a button can trigger and using this animate method we can call that controller dot forward animation inside our mpin animation we need instance of that so i'm going to say final mpin controller animation controller of course and let's name it controller and also i'll create a fill inside the constructor so this is good so far and the same controller instance i'm going to pass inside the state of the widget now you will say that you can access with widget dot controller but no i don't want to access that in the widget tree i want it before that so let me show you how i want to access that so because we are passing this controller to the state i want to access that here i'll say controller now using this controller I'm going to override the animate method. Basically, I will provide what will happen when someone calls the animate method. So let's go ahead and define animate method first. I'll say void animate. Okay. And I will assign this animate to the controller animate method. It's that easy. Now, of course, what do we want to do on the animate? We have to move this line from here inside animate. It's that simple. So whenever someone calls controller dot animate, it's gonna trigger this one because it's passed by a reference and then it will trigger the animation of the controller. So let's go ahead and use that controller inside our page and see whether it works or not. So inside the mpin page over here, let's go ahead and create one controller, mpin animation controller come on controller okay and let's name it anim controller makes sense right animation controller and also we have to initialize it right over here so i'll say animation come on controller by this time at least vs code should be evolved enough to give me proper suggestions but no worries okay so we have the controller instance with us now we have to first pass this controller to the widget and of course we have a parameter now which we just define inside the widget let's go ahead and do the animation on a click of a button so i'm going to quickly wrap this thing inside a column and then add a material button so that at least we have something to click on <laughs> okay so come on material button appear for me okay and yep that's the material button for you and on click of the button on pressed i want to invoke controller come on it's animation controller dot animate it's that simple and and also let me just make sure that everything works fine the button is not visible i'll say child is text and let's say something simple animate all right you can see the animate word over here but by default material button doesn't give much effects so i'm going to go ahead and give it some color so that you can see it nice and clear and also i think we need to stylize it because it's way too small perfect so we have the animate button and now you see when i click the animation happens 
the target achieved we have animated the circle outside the widget on a click of a button so that is what basically we wanted to create now what we will do is we will create multiple dots and then we will animate one or the other depending on the user input and that basically we don't want that so many controllers so many widgets handling inside the page itself so for that we will create one more widget which will be actually the mpin widget and this animation will be hidden implementation so what user is more concerned about on the page he will add the mpin widget which will internally handle how animation is happening which animation is happening which is deleting which is getting adding everything will be hidden for the user and of course the user for this part is the another developer who is going to use your widget or the control if you want to see the previous video you can find in the description below don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe the channel if you are new here and i will see you guys in the next one